Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. First tonight on Fox 4 News at 530, a 12-year-old wheelchair-bound girl was detained for nearly an hour at DFW Airport. She was trying to get through security. She was on her way to Florida for medical treatment, but security agents said she was a threat. And this, honestly, is a story that's going to outrage a whole lot of folks. Dion Anglin is here tonight with a story that you will see only on Fox 4. Dion. Yeah, Heather, this little girl tra uh, travels from her home in Kaufman County to Florida for medical treatment for brittle bone disease. She's made the trip many times, but this time screening agents stopped her, separated her from her mother, and she says put her through a terrifying ordeal. <laughs> The upset little girl in the center of your screen in the wheelchair is 12-year-old Shelby Walzer. On Sunday, TSA agents at DFW Airport detained her because they claimed she had bomb residue on her hands. Agents would not allow her mom, Tammy, to get close to Shelby, so she started recording on her cell phone. Are you kidding me? Okay. And then her to hear her, for well, her to it's hear okay. and know that okay. I go get closer and we are coming. Now you know, we're going to get you out of here and in a second, okay? Her. It was frightening and I got mad. And I said, what do you mean she's been, what did you test her for? Well, she tested positive for explosive residue on her hands. Oh, okay, so at that point you would think that they would have checked her wheelchair, and they did nothing, and then that's when it just seemed to, everything just seemed to spiral out. TSA agents kept her isolated, but in plain view of hundreds of passengers while they called in a bomb specialist. Other passengers who watched were just as outraged. There was just people saying, Really, you're going to do this to her? Y'all have to take her somewhere private to where she's not out in the public to where everyone can see her. After 45 minutes, Shelby's mom says suddenly agents simply told them they were free to go and offered no explanation and no apology. It was a little much. I don't know what to learn from it. Somebody needs to, they need to go back to the drawing board on this one. Well, the mother and daughter barely made their flight. We asked the TSA about uh, Shelby's encounter. They responded to us with a statement that says, in part, TSA's mission is to safely, efficiently, and respectfully screen nearly 2 million passengers each day at airports nationwide. We are sensitive to the concerns of passengers who were not satisfied with their screening experience, and we invite those individuals to provide feedback to TSA through a variety of channels. Heather? Okay, even that email response... Dion is a little frustrating because it's so cut and dry, not being sensitive or respectful at all, it seems, to this little girl. So they wouldn't let the mom come near her or hug her or anything? No. Basically, they said, uh, you have to stay over there. Oh. We have to deal with her uh, right here. Yeah. Um, but oddly, they say that there were some passengers who really sympathized with her, and, and one even handed her a tissue and, and a piece of candy to try and make her experience better. So the mom, sure. uh, she didn't understand that. Why could they you know, hand her things and touch her, but I couldn't. Yeah, other people couldn't, and, and mom couldn't get near her, but at least mom put out the cell phone. Okay, and then talk about this residue that was on her hands. Did they throw out any possibilities of what that could have been? Well, I wanted to know that as well. Her mom says they, they kept asking, did she use any lotion or any products on her hands this morning? Her mother said, well, there's a chance, but uh, we don't remember anything. But uh, to answer your question, no. She says the agents never said what they believed it to be. All right. Well, she seems very strong today, but what a what a tough experience for this mom and the daughter. All right. No Hopefully, TSA will take a look and maybe change some things. Dion, thank you.